क्लास नाइन एज यस्टरडे वी हैव टच दिस चैप्टर अ हाउस इज नॉट अ होम सो वी हैव रेड अबाउट बॉय हु हैज लॉस्ट हिज यू कैन से हिज हाउस एंड अल्टीमेटली इट वॉज बॉन्ड टू फायर द मदर हैज गॉन इन साइड इन ऑर्डर टू प्रिक्योर सम इम्पॉर्टेंट डॉक्यूमेंट्स शी वॉज विदाउट वरिंग ऑफ हर ओन लाइफ शी हैज गॉन इन साइड to save the photographs and some letters that were from her husband as her husband was dead so now the boy tried to rescue her mother but ultimately then what happened that the hands of the fireman held him back and ultimately what has happened that he was held held back so now here we are going to read Soon after that, fireman emerged from her house with my mom in tow. He quickly took her over to the truck and put an oxygen mask on her. I ran over and hugged her. All those times I had ever argued with her and hated her vanished at the thought of losing her. So now what happened? So then, when uh, the fireman they have got back, they have brought her mother in a tow because she was not able to walk. So ultimately, when he saw his mother for the first time, so he thought that this was altogether wrong. When I argued with my mother, because many times we get angry with the person, but at the time of the loss with that person, when we feel that we are going to, that we are going to, you can say uh, that we are going to be. Have a detached relation with that person, and at that moment, sometimes the fear of losing that person stops us somewhere. You can say it hurts us somewhere. Similarly, he felt that I argued with my mom so many times. So many times we had, you can say, friction. So many times we had, you can say, confusions between us. But at that time, that thought of losing her it really hurt me a lot. and i love my mom at that moment the most she is going to be okay she is just in here the little smoke and then he ran back to fight the fire while my mother and i sat there dazed dazed means you can say in an unconscious to fight condition so the fireman consoled the boy he just said don't worry your mom will be okay your mom actually she has in here little bit of smoke so that would not cause her much you can say harm <coughs> fine then they both were sitting in a dazed condition i remember watching my house burn down and there was nothing i could do about it so now what happened i remember watching my house she said i watched my house burning in front of my eyes and i was just thinking that there was nothing that i could do five hours later so the house was being burnt in front of his eyes but he was feeling so helpless he knew that he would not be able to do anything so five hours later the fire was finally out it means that it took the fireman almost five hours to control the fire our house was almost completely burnt down the house was completely burned down but then it struck me i hadn't seen my cat where was my cat so then at that moment it got to his mind that where is my cat he is he no where much to my horror i realized that she was no where to be found so he looked around for the cat in the, in the surrounding areas but finally the cat was not at all with him so he was again very sad for the loss of his cat then all at once it hit me the new school the fire my cat i broke down in tears and cried and cried i was suffering loss big time so at that moment he realized that there is only loss he has lost his old school he has gone to a new school where nobody knows him nobody is his friend he has lost his cat his house was burned he was thinking just everything is wrong is happening with me everything wrong is happening what's my mistake then thinking about that all these losses he was again in tears he cried and cried but i was suffering loss big time and he thought 
that this is really a big loss for him that he has to overcome with. The fire had to go back into the house that night. Now the fireman, he said they wouldn't allow us to go back into the house because it was filled with smoke. It and it was as it was burnt down. Really hot, so firemen put a custody around their house so that nobody could enter there. It was still too dangerous to go there because any time, any any type of wire could be struck and it will be fire again, dead or alive. I couldn't imagine leaving without knowing about my cat. So he actually wanted to know about his cat. He never wanted to let his cat go in this manner. He wanted it back. Regardless, I had to go. But ultimately, as he was not able to find his cat back, so he had to go. We filed into the car with just the clothes on our backs and a few of the firemen's blankets and made our way to my grandparents' house to spend the night. So finally, on that day, they did not have anything or any house or any shelter to spend their night with. So we piled into the car, and means with the clothes they have put on, they just sat like things in the car. Just the clothes on our backs, few things which are left they had on their backs, and few of the firemen's blankets they had. And finally, they have gone. They have gone to their grandparents' house to spend that night, so that finally they can think out what is to be done and next how they should build their own house. The next day, Monday, I went to school. You can very well imagine this kind of situation, how distressed he was. His house was burned, the dear cat was lost, and everything was lost. So in the, at this type of events, in this type of atmosphere, uh, how can a child feel to go to school? But still, the next day he has gone to school. He did not have any clothing. He did not have any kind of uniform, but still he has gone there. This shows his sincerity. Otherwise, we people have a number of excuses to make. For example, if we have fever, then we take two to three, two to three days leave, and again uh, making excuses to the teacher. Ma'am, I was suffering from fever. Fever. This is the reason why I have not done my work. This is the reason why I have not done this and that. Okay. So ultimately, what is this? These are just ways of making excuses. He has suffered the biggest loss ever one can face. He has suffered a lot and ultimately still he has gone to school. When the fire broke out, I was still wearing the dress I had worn to church that morning. The next day, he went to school. He did not have any clothes to wear. He was still wearing the same dress that he was earlier wearing. That morning, when he has gone to church, he also did not have any shoes to wear. Still, he managed. How? I had kept them off when I was doing my homework. Yes, this was the usual, you can say, habit of the children where they pick off their shoes in order to throw them while sitting. Similarly, he had done, but he did not know that his, that his house would be set to fire and ultimately he will not find these shoes back again. They became yet another casualty of the fire. Means his shoes were also burnt in the fire. So I had to borrow some tennis shoes from my aunt. So ultimately, her aunt's shoes would not fit him. So he has opted for some tennis shoes. They were a little bit, you can say, large in size. So this is the reason why he had borrowed those tennis shoes from his aunt. Why couldn't I just stay away, stay home from school? He said on that day, why I did not stop myself to go to school. My mother wouldn't hear of it. But I was totally embarrassed by everything. Actually, he said that my mother, she would never listen about it, that I should stay there, okay, without going back to school. But he knew that his mother would not listen to this thing because she knew that what importance education has and how much important this education is for me. So what, he has, what she has said, she has said not to take any leave and ultimately, you can say ultimately, what he has to do, he has to go to school. Students are still angry. I had no books or homework in my backpack. What is 
backpack. Backpack is the type of bag, the small bag. Okay, you have you all have they are now you all are having those backpacks in which you pack your books to be hung on one shoulder. So, so he said, I I had no books, no books were with him, no homework I had done, and my backpack it was also gone. I had my life in that backpack. Yes, this is the reality because children they are so attached to their bags. Sometimes they put some secret things in their bags also. The many things which are related to their life are found in their bag. So similarly, he said that my backpack was my entire life. The more I tried to fit in, the worse it got. So he said, the more the more I tried to fit in means the situation. The more he was trying to fit in the situation, the more he was, you can say, uh, the situation was turning more worse. Means he was trying his every possibility to adjust in the new situation. But the thing is that he is not getting any chance to fit in, and the things were getting really bad. Was I destined to be an outcast and a geek all my life? Outcast means like a separated boy. Okay. He called my life again very strange person. He said, "Was it written in my destiny that I should behave like a strange man or a strange person for my life?" That's what it felt like. Actually, no one knows one's destiny. But he said, at that time, I was just feeling like that. I didn't want to grow up, change, or have to handle life. It was going to be this way. He was so distressed. He was so depressed also that he felt that if grown up means this, he said, "I never want to be a grown up," because he said, "If life demands adjustment, and if this kind of adjustment I have to make," he said, "No, I never want this kind of adjustment. I just wanted to curl up and die." He was so harassed of this situation. He was so harassed of life. That he said, that he said, I just want to curl up, sit at one place and die, and ultimately, you can say, surrender for everything. But is this the real way of living a life? No, this is not the real way of living a life. So, what is the real way of living a life? Is to face the challenges, to face the obstacle, to overcome the obstacle, to because every obstacle, every hurdle you face in your life. Is providing you another opportunity, and take all opportunities as chances of growing up, of improving yourself. And this is what he said. But actually, he said, "I was actually lost. I have lost the battle of my life." He was just thinking. He said that I have to make many adjustments. I need to be a grown up. Means like making these type of adjustments. He said, "No, I never wanted to do these kind of adjustments." He said, "I don't have that that kind of stamina." Or that level of stamina that I should put up with this kind of stress. What he wanted actually is he actually wanted to live a simple and steady life. But his life at that moment when he has entered into school, his house was burned. He was like feeling himself like a strange person among the community of all. So what he was just thinking, he was just thinking himself that he has completely lost the battle of his life. He is completely lost. He wanted to surrender. He want to die. I walked around school like a zombie. You imagine zombies, strange person, strange personality where nobody knows you, and you even don't know the zombie. He said on that day, like a zombie, I was moving around the school. Everything left surreal, again strange, hurting. Okay, hurting. It means that he was feeling really surreal. He was really feeling strange. He was feeling that everything has gone down. Okay, so means like it was really a strange situation. Situation that he himself find himself as an odd man out in the company of all. Company of all. He thought that everyone is like him, but still he was strangest of all. So this is the reason why he was feeling surreal. And I wasn't sure what was going to happen, and he was also not sure that what was going to happen in his life. All the security I had known from my old school, my friends, my house, and my cat had been ripped away. Ripped away means taken away by force. He said, "From my life, the security which I enjoyed, the happiness that I was accustomed to, that has all gone down. My friends, of course, my house, and my dear cat. Everything has been taken away from 
him and that was feeling really you can say sad on my part that i was feeling that my life could actually come to an end okay so this is what this is of course the explanation of the type of feelings the boy had when one is completely suffering from losses he knew that he was suffering from losses so this one you can say complete explanation of one page it is related to the loss that he has suffered in his life the type of you can say adjustment life is demanding of him or from him and he has to make adjustment so this is of course you can say highlighting the you can say the emotions of a teenager that what kind of feelings they have see imagine first of all he was not happy to join his new school he was not relating to this new kind of environment and the talk at the talk of it what has happened to him his house was gone all the security all the happiness that he enjoyed in his life was gone and at that and during that you can see stretched time or stretched hours of time what he has to do he has to go back to his school again without his homework without his books and without his backpack and how how much you can say how much you can say stress and how much you can say insulting he felt on that day when everyone in the class is asking him why you haven't done your homework all are submitting the notebooks and he was standing on one side telling everyone the story that has happened to him and everyone's eyes focusing over him so you can imagine this is the reason uh, he was just feeling like a zombie he was feeling himself that nothing right or nothing true is happening to him he was just feeling that everything is going to be wrong that life is definitely bringing many things and disasters to his life he wanted to come out of these kind of disasters he wanted to overcome this kind of situation and for that he says life is of course asking me for too much of courage and what he thought this kind of courage this kind of courage he said it it was really not easy for me to master up master up means together okay so what he wanted is is to adjust in the new environment but actually this adjustment is demanding too much of courage and which he is lacking okay so now let us see in the next part of the story that how is life is coming on to the track again so when i walk through what used to be my house after school that day i was shocked to see how much damage there was whatever had been gone was destroyed by the water and chemicals they had used to put out the fire so naturally human beings they always have the curiosity to see even over the destroyed parts this is the reason that why in history in archaeology and when human beings they are digging up the buried buried let's say buried parts or the buried things under the earth we come to know about a lot of things about parts okay inquisitive human beings they are okay so it was his curiousness that let him go back to the place where once his house was situated he has gone back there and he just wanted to just find out is anything left there and most of the times he is going there in order to just find a remnant of his cat whether the cat was burnt or it was it has run it has run uh, or it has run away somewhere he wanted to know this thing also so this is for it is for this reason that he is going to that place again and again and there when whenever he was going he came to know that all the things of the house they have completely been burnt and those things which were left away they were so much you can say destroyed damaged by the effect of water and chemicals that firemen had used to put out the fire that nothing could be retracted back the only material things not destroyed were the photo albums documents and some other personal items that my mother had managed to heroically rescue heroically means it was just the courage of a mother of his mother that she has gone back into the house where she has procured all the documents in the book from the burning house and has come up alive though she was choked a uh, she was choked with a bit of smoke so he said all the material things were completely destroyed 
accept those albums, those documents, which your mother, who has heroically entered into the burning house and saved them, had they not been saved, all the memories have gone. But still, those were the leftover memories. But my cat, my cat was gone and my heart ached for her. But again and again, he was feeling that pain that his cat has altogether gone. He wanted his cat back. He wanted that his cat should come back. But ultimately, he was not finding his cat and every day, every hour, every second that he is passing, the same kind of pain was pinching his heart again and again. So, there was no time to grieve. But he said the situation was, you can say the situation was, we are, they were suffering from that great loss or that you can say that level of great loss they were suffering from that it demanded no grievances from their side. Then they don't have any time to grieve, to sit and then you can say feel sorry for this kind of situation. They should cry. No, they have to make quick plans in order to replenish the things, in order to set back the things right. My mother rushed me out of the house. We would have to find a place to live and I would have to go buy some clothes for school. So what he said, my mother rushed me out of the house. Now, uh, mother was quite sensible. She knew that this kind of loss could not easily be, uh, you can say, put up. They have to make changes in themselves. They have to make a lot of adjustments. And for that, what has happened? His mother used to send him out of the house. Please go out, meet some new people, purchase some new clothes so that the loss that they suffered from, this could be put up. We could have to find a place, find new places to live. You can also find out and I will also see so that we can choose one. And I would have to go buy some clothes for school also in Bluebird. No school he is missing at all. And his mother was always pushing him to buy some new clothes in order to go to school. We had to borrow money from my grandparents because there were no credit cards, cash, or even any identification to be able to withdraw money from the bank. So he said, what I have to do is, I have to, we have to borrow money from the grandparents because all the bank documents, they were burnt. All the credit cards, cash they were having was not at all available to them. And as without any document, it is not possible for them to withdraw money from the bank. And if they are going to withdraw money from the bank, they have to make some, you can say, some formalities, legal formalities. And this would, of course, take a lot of time. So what he said, that we were not able to withdraw any money from the bank. As everything has gone up in smoke, everything was gone. They did not have anything with them. That we, <coughs> the rubble, the rubble means heap of, uh, heap of, you can say waste things, burnt up things. That we, the rubble that used to be our house was being cleared off the lot. So finally, in order to, you can say, revive, you know that in foreign countries, everything is insured, uh, insured. Okay, they have insurances for those. Okay, so he said their house was also uh, covered up in that insurance and the loss that they have faced it must be covered up in that insurance and now new house is to be built. For that, what happened? That rubble, the waste, because all the useful things they have now turned into waste like that and see. See, it is only time that changes important things, useful things into waste. It is just one action of fire and that has destroyed all the useful things into waste things. Now this heap of waste, it is to be removed. Special vehicles, they have arrived. They have cleared that lot. Even though we had rented an apartment nearby. So in order to accommodate themselves, they must have a house to live in. So they have taken a rented apartment nearby where they were putting up their days. I would go over to watch them clear away their pets, hoping that my cat was somewhere to be found. So whenever they, whenever he comes from school back, he's often going to that place. Whenever that devils, that you can say, 
useless things, waste. It is to be removed from that place. He was just hoping that one, that maybe he would find any sign of his cat. Maybe the leftover parts of his cat after being burnt. But she was gone. He was really feeling bad that his cat was, of course, gone. Okay, so I kept thinking about her as that vulnerable victim. So what he was thinking, he was thinking, just a moment. I kept thinking about her as that vulnerable little picture. In front of him, remembering his cat as that vulnerable meat like that of any other, you can say, Kitten, small, you can say, small, you can say cat. She would tag along in the, sorry, uh, in the early morning when I would disturb her and get out of bed, she would tag along after me, climb up my rope and crawl into my pockets uh, to fall asleep and I was missing her dad. This is the kind of behavior pets used to show you also, people may be having pets and you know what kind of love they are showing. Of course, they are doing it the same manner. Like they are tagging, they are moving behind you wherever you are going, jumping, climbing at your legs. The dogs, they are biting your legs. Okay, not biting in the sense with anger, but with love. Or oh, they are moving around you. They are, uh, they are, you can say, making funny movements. They are always seeking your, demanding your attention. And finally, climbing up your clothes, pushing, pinching your clothes. Uh, you can say, uh, pulling your rope. So in this manner, the cat was also doing and crawling when he used to fall, fall asleep. Cat used to slip into his pocket to fall asleep in that cozy environment. And he said, yes, of course, I was really missing my cat. Terrible. Okay, so this is the kind of love he is sharing with his pet cat. This is also being delivered here. See, life is a mixture of emotions. On one side, he has lost, but on the other side, he is also having great memories of his cat. And this is the reason why he is wanting his cat back. Okay, it was really very difficult for him to get his cat back. And um, let us see whether he will get his cat back or not. Uh, the house will be rebuilt again, no doubt in it. And how he will, the more, the more curious thing about this chapter is how he will be adjusting in the new environment. Okay, so let us see how he will be adjusting means he will find new friends or his friends will find him. Okay, so this we are going to read in our next class. Okay, so now if you have any doubts, you can ask me.